Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 47 reaction. All right. The previous episode um it started from the battle uh, between Manta's dad and you know like our team uh <coughs> and how as well how just annihilated one after the another just like destroying all the ships and everything and uh, you didn't have to even have to move you and the others and uh we kind of see why they tried to get how because they had the confidence that they would be able to win there's this one guy uh, from the ex laws who had this like you know one shot uh like, you know attack which could like annihilate anyone and but it only uh, like you know lasts for three seconds he 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 trusted that completely and decided that yeah this is going to completely kill off how he used that by how he used foxfire and yeah he, he just died then there was this uh, another lady the witch who called herself she like you know did some voodoo magic and she tried to kill how like that but unfortunately curse reversal just came back to her and uh, that was it the end where uh, that is like Manta's dad like he and the butler ran away i'm guessing and yeah that was that and that was the end <clears throat> so after that we then move to the moon continent the main ma battle will begin and they were like um, you know they had already decided yo yo steam was like we forfeit because we know we won't be able to defeat him so instead of wasting our energy here we forfeit he goes to be like you know like to fuse with the um uh, the great spirit while we are going to try to stop him to do that the patch efficiency will be there to stop us as well so we are going to use our power to fight the patch efficiency and then get how instead of just wasting our energy on on how and then losing on like you know ultimately and then trying to get him it's 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 way more work and way more like you know like um problematic so let's do it like this we forfeit they like you know forfeit their match how becomes the shaman king he goes on his way the patch officials goes with him and it's like you know like um luckiest lucky stands in their like uh, way luckiest versus marco starts and here we actually get a little uh, section of them talking about what is justice luckiest version of justice is uh kind of like how 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 sees justice that is like there are like you know if like if we use justice as a sword as a hammer uh there will be a lot of people who, who will be excluded and those people they are going to fall into evil so like justice is just something according to him which is just for the winners and it does not include everybody and he wants to fight for the justice of the losers you know of the people who has been discarded he wants to fight for their justice and that's why he's with how while marco's version of justice is like uh love is the ultimate form of justice uh like you know uh, because this whole thing is complicated you know there are definitely going to be uh like you know one team will think that yeah this is correct like another team will think like no this is wrong that is correct it is subjective so only one way you can actually explain justice is love and that's his form of justice and which uh, which was a really well like you know done section i i've seen a lot of other animes also explaining talking about justice and stuff but Marco's take on it was really interesting, and I like that. But by the end of it, like you know, Marco and both Marco like kills both himself and uh, Lucky. Now here's one thing I did not think about in the previous episode: Can they be revived? I never thought about it. Maybe they can. Like I'm, I'm thinking they're dead, but maybe they can be revived. Who knows? Like I'm, I'll, I'll wait for the like you know future episodes to. I'm, I'm sure I'll get my answer and uh, yeah that's where it ends and i thought maybe the um, like you know they're kind of skipping parts in the anime but from the comments i got to know that no the manga was also like this so uh, like you know like and they're not skipping anything in the anime so then that's good you know like i really don't like anime skipping stuff from the manga and they already kind of did that in one of the previous episodes but yeah if it's not skipping any stuff then that's good and then um okay that that happens and then they move on uh yo meets silva and they're going to fight now so let's see what happens in this episode so yeah this is episode number 57 of uh, no sorry 47 47 47 of shaman king so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, here we go. Oh! Okay. All right. So yeah, this will probably be a big fight because silver. It's silver we are talking about. Like in the opening, like you know, when when this opening, like you know, was came out first, um, the the that scene where we see Silva and all the other patch officials, I thought that they were going to help us out. <laughs> oh boy, how I was wrong! I actually understand what's the significance of that scene now. You know, like um, Silva and all the patch officials just standing there. I understand now. Like it's basically they're they're protecting how. <clears throat> Like it does make sense because in the end we do see the patch efficient like you know silva fighting um yeah this scene fighting uh yo so it does make sense like yeah they are going to be the enemy who like you know like like not the ultimate enemy but the penultimate enemy or something like that okay here we go Yeah. Ah. Uh. Harsh but true. Oh wait, what why are Oh my god. We broke the... What happened in the prison? The shrine of the king. Plant? What? Wait, they have like... Oh my god. Whoa! Wait, what? So they have like home bases or something? I guess this is a moon continent, like anything could happen here. There's a new shaman can see for. Damn it, that's very less amount of time. Takes five hours. But the shrine? Okay. Fifteen. Ah. Oh. My god. Damn, this is like a... The rest of them will be delivered by... Clear the way, okay. Okay, okay, alright, I understand. The first one... Okay, so they, these are basically will be like you'll have to fight here and then move forward. Desert plan. There you go. Yeah, it's like a mini, mini tournament, isn't it? Like kind of like that. And these are like their home ground. I'm guessing they'll be. Oh. 
<laughs> Wait, can't we all fight against him? Like, why are we one versus one-ing him? Okay, what is happening? Oh! Well... What? Wait, can't we all attack him? Like, there you go! I'm like, why are they one versus one in him? No! I'm guessing they cannot all jump on top of him or something like that. Yeah, he's physic uh physical? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Probably in the Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, that's a really cool get up. Sashimi knife the sauna. Yeah, w what's he talking about? What what type of uh Oh damn. Wait, did they? I also don't remember. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> what? That's why it's a sashimi knife. <laughs> oh god. Oh no, is that a trap? Oh. Oh. It's... Oh no. It's like a mirage. Yeah, mirage. Uh, God damn. Yeah. Withdraw and he will live. Why? Oh damn! He has something up his sleeves. I can see that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. What? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What was that? Wait, what happened? Yeah, but they are weak in this environment okay what did like what did rue do like oh my god i thought he had something up up his sleeves, like fist mode. Oh my god. Well, Horohoro is still here, I'm sure. Oh! Interesting. So he never was prepared for these two because he thought they wouldn't fight him because they're weak. 
this environment. Water under the sand. Oh, okay. Oh, is he going to? <laughs> okay, so he used the ice to. Oh boy. Oh my god, so he's dead. Okay. All right. So basically he kind of showed him, yeah, like how you're going to do this. That's why he said like, I won't be able to win, but the people who will come after me, they will be. So, okay. Like that's what to do did at that moment. Oh, there they are. Uh, he is, they, they found him. <laughs> He's back, she's back. And then there he is. Yep. Hmm. Call it an unexplainable phenomenon. Yeah, that's true. What, 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 what would they even tell? <laughs> nah, you're not getting it. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh. Oh my god, wow, then it's all well and good, I guess. Wait, what? <laughs> that was abrupt. <laughs> I have this map. <laughs> what is this? Wow. <laughs> John's face. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> that... <laughs> that was abrupt. Ah. I don't trust him still. But I guess he wouldn't be able to run away. Like, w w okay. Well, Anna has, which he doesn't. Oh, I guess he doesn't know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. Where did he pop up from? Ah, uh, there he is. <laughs> Barbecue. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> exactly, what now? Hmm, true. Yeah, then, then let's let's just have barbecue, you know, like we'll we'll just wait. Ah, there they are. Oh they're also resurrected, nice. No, they're resurrected. Beauty and 
Oh no. Yeah, we need to do barbecue, you know. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, they're, they're killing them, you know? Yeah. Even though they're resurrecting them, still, they have to kill them first. <laughs> this is knocking. <laughs> yeah, just break it. Just destroy it. <laughs> Let them take charge. Oh my god, I feel like they're going to just blow it open. What's with this music? I feel like they yeah, they they destroy. I knew this is going to happen. Oh, it's opening. There you go. <laughs> Wait, what is that in his hand? What? Like, let us prepare first. Okay. What? Bye. Okay, that's an easy enough explanation. <laughs> okay, well, so who's going to fight him? Okay, yeah, this is help. They're in the city now, they can just. Oh. Oh no. That's true. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, how's it floating? Blue net. Why? Okay, <laughs> this guy. They're not. De they're dead. What? Wait, Renz. Okay, so, so Ren is really dead. I guess we'll have to resurrect him as a... Okay. Yeah, yeah, you are. Like... Hmm. Yeah. Augment of Fuyoko, okay. Bat song. Kind of like a some, something that buffs them? Yeah. Okay. 
down. No good or bad in the world. Whoa! Get the full code to promote the shamaka. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on, let's work. Okay, here we go. Well, he has a new technique and you don't know that. <laughs> oh! You slapped him in the face! <laughs> Damn, he looks cool. Okay. Yeah, he just straight up burned him. Oh. Okay, <laughs> well. So yeah, it's something kind of like this. I'm guessing like certain people will be uh, more suited to like you know fight certain people. For example, the first uh, match as we saw, uh, since Horo Horo and um, Ren, they were like you know like the batch efficient thought that they will be weak against in, in this atmosphere so let me not just uh you know like uh do the simulation battle against them i'm guessing he kind of made up plans and stuff to fight the different characters except ren and Horo. Like that, that's what they said so that's why he didn't think that they would try to attack him and that's why he was not prepared for them and that is the reason why they like you know they they they, they fought him and they won uh, even with the weaknesses in that uh in that in, in that place so ren and horohoro were more advantageous in that part while here lyserg is more advantageous it's kind of, it'll kind of be like that i'm guessing like maybe in the next one um who knows maybe john will be more powerful against the next uh next opponent and this is going to like you know change maybe maybe uh chocolate it's going to change like this one after the other and that's it it's kind of like that that whole you know like the advantageous things like the rock paper scissor like oh this person is like an advantageous against this person but this person is weaker against this person it's kind of like a cycle i'm guessing and may i'm guessing uh yo will probably fight almost at, at the end where silva will come out you know maybe in the, the plant where silver will be there he's going to fight there and i don't know if goldva is i'm guessing goldva will also participate in the battle and if she participates i'm guessing she will probably be in the final one either she'll be in the final plant or silver will be in the final plant either of them i'm guessing so if she participates i think she will probably because she's also one, one part of them you know so we'll see okay so uh, this episode we get to know what's going to happen after this because all right so the first part we see them uh, like you know yo versus silva was happening in the beginning and silva tries to attack opazo and like that's what he kind of said something like oh you'll have to like you know accept sacrifices if <clears throat> if you you know like if you want to move forward from here and he he tries to attack opacho and um yo comes and stops him 
and then the, these two other patch officials, uh, they come and they're like, oh, this is the new improved Silva. We broke the old one, and they're like, oh, come with us. You know, we're we're going to the different plants, and there we will wait for them to come one after the other, and we're going to defeat them. So, uh, as far as we can understand here, according to them, Silva is brainwashed. Now. Like they themselves say that he's brainwashed and it does seem he's like he's brainwashed but I'm still not completely like you know I, I won't believe that because I feel like maybe maybe Silva is tricking them or something you know like I'm, I'm not completely going to believe that he he's brainwashed they are saying that he's brainwashed but there is a chance of him just faking it and uh, like maybe he has some other plan or something i don't know like that's one thing that i am you know like i'm I'm going to keep believing but we'll see we'll see almost at the end i'm, I'm sure we'll get to know when yo and uh silva the fight happens and that in, in that episode i will probably get to know if he's faking it or if he's really brainwashed we'll see but okay now now they ask uh, uh, Abasan that how much time will it take and he so here's the thing five hours for the greatest spirit to come and there, there's also that time that we, he'll need from to go from here to the place where, where he's going to do the fuse, fusing and all these included it's going to take them 15 hours so not much time you know like 15 hours how many plants did they say um let me check uh let me check they, they they even explained how many plants just a sec okay our plants lie along it there are 10 of them okay okay 10 so basically one uh okay no 15 hours 15 hours 10 plants which means you can maximum spend <clears throat> one hour in plant i'm not saying 1.5 hours because i'm i'm i'm, I'm saying that it'll they'll, they must spend at least one hour in one plant because the extra 30 minutes like you know like uh that they'll no not one hour it's kind of like that i'm guessing the extra time you know like if if 10 plants they're going to spend uh one hour there is going to take them 10 hours to complete all the plants the remaining five hours i'm keeping them uh, for them just because after reaching you know the final place where how is there I'm sure some like they will need a little bit of time to actually defeat him there or maybe maybe there will be some other patch efficients in the final uh, you know like room as well alongside how so that will also take time so not only the plants you know they also need to actually keep some time remaining after they reach the final room where how is there so one hour maximum each plant so that like you know like they can they can make it in time okay let's let's check out the the plants they explain what plants there are there's the desert plant which we already completed desert gorge gorge i'm, I'm guessing the valley one that they're showing yeah volcano lake okay highlands forest cave ocean glacier and the universe i'm interested in the universe like what what will be in the universe like they'll be out in space is that what's going to happen that's an interesting one like who is even going to fight there oh, that'll be an interesting one okay so these are the plants and we'll have to like you know go through those and uh, yeah then get to the final place I love the fact that Opacho is actually sitting on Foss's lap. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, they start moving and first they reach the desert plant and then there is this guy. Now, here's the thing. Uh, who is this guy? Did we see, like, it seems like Yuru knows him. Like, did I forget? Have we actually met him and I forgot? Most probably because, like, Shaman King has a lot of characters and I probably forgot him. If they, if they actually showed him before because it does seem like rue has like some kind of yeah some kind of a thing for like you know like he, he says something about i ha i owe you something or something like that i'm guessing 
so okay uh, so first the desert plant and this guy now here's the thing here's the interesting thing about the plants so basically the plants are not just uh like you know like uh, like a place where it looks like it it also acts like it like in a desert plant the conditions are also like a desert like there will be mirages there will be less uh, moisture you know it will be hot and maybe like you know like the, the flora fauna everything is going to like uh look like and be like a desert so it's not only how like you know it, it's going to look like the desert it will be the desert so they need to keep that on mind in mind as well so <clears throat> Here, um, first Ren tries to attack him and he's like, you know, realizes that, yeah, this place is kind of impossible for them to attack, uh, like them to fight because uh, this place is like dry, there's no moisture and anything. He cannot use his lightning properly here. And he himself says in the beginning that uh, fool, lightning can't form in a dry cloudless desert. And uh, like, this is another interesting thing that I don't think I ever thought about. Like up until now, I was under the impression that the uh, lightning or whatever, like, you know, their elements that they brought was something that they brought using their Furyoku. Like, obviously they do that. I'm not like, you know, saying that now nah, they don't use their Furyoku. They use their Furyoku, but the conditions should also be appropriate. For example, like here, as we see, Ren and Horohoro can't use their uh, respective elements because there's no moisture here. So... They cannot just bring lightning from no nothing. Like you know, they need moisture, and even Horohoro can't make eyes like that. So, so the environment also matters. Up until now, we've seen a, uh, like Ren and Horohoro fight using lightning and moisture because they were fighting in places where moisture was there. And I, I never thought about it in that way. I never thought that if those moisture was taken away, they wouldn't be able to fight. Because I thought like they, they, it is kind of like, you know, their Furyoku is kind of like a magic power where it like comes from nothing. But no, it's not something that comes from nothing. This episode actually tells us that their elements actually need an appropriate condition to actually work. You cannot make something from nothing. They need that moisture to make that lightning. And this, 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 this is like an interesting point that we got to know. I never thought that this would happen. And that's what happened here. So that's interesting because really I kind of thought like up until now that like the, the lightning, the, uh, uh, you know, water, whatever they bring out is just that they bring out from nothing. They create like, you know, like, like this elements from nothing, but no, they need the appropriate conditions. If there's no moisture, they wouldn't be able to form them. And uh, yeah, anyways, um, so here. <clears throat> this guy's like, yeah, you wouldn't be able to do that. So first Ryu comes in and okay now he says here you go and i owe this guy one so as i said like you know have you met him before i don't remember if if we met him did i forget oh i don't know okay anyways um so yeah he starts fighting and we see his new oversoul it's like in an armored oversoul it's called the sashimi knife of susano <laughs> at first i really did not realize why the name is sashimi knife and then when he starts fighting he says something about being a chef of the fumbari onsen and i'm like oh is that the reason why this is sashimi knife <laughs> but it works you know it works as a weapon pretty well so yeah he just and, and even his technique's name is ultra fillet technique wow <laughs> like is that what he's going to do after he retires like you know like go to the fumbari onsen and just uses <laughs> oversoul to fillet fish <laughs> that'll be funny oh boy ah so yeah now here we again see like the conditions of the desert are actually something that we need to take into consideration mirages are happening he attacks him and he sees like there's nothing there it's actually mirage and he gets him from behind so <clears throat> okay now here's the thing um he says like you know he, he says like he he's, he realizes he cannot win okay he says okay where is it okay so this is your real oversoul eh namari okay his name is namari when you kept your distance um 
I figured something was up. But I knew I had to make you show your hand. Okay, so that's what he did. There you go. So he basically kind of charged and attacked him so that he showed his hand. Uh, you know, like Namari, this guy. And he's, he's saying, I'm not sure I can crush it, but at least the others will be able to continue. And that's what he did. He actually made the opportunity for the others to win. That's why he, he fought, first fought them. And, you know, he gets defeated or killed, you can say, because I did not think he got, he died. He so he died at that moment when, when he attacked him. I thought he was injured, but basically, so, but he died actually. So, yeah, now he's like, all right, come, you guys are also left, come attack me. And, um, so, as, 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 as he said, he actually did the simulation for all the other characters except Horohoro and Ren. So, <laughs> that actually worked against him. Like, that's what to say, you know, don't under underestimate your enemy. And don't be lazy, at least in these type of situations. Like, he basically underestimated them and did not do the, his research on them. He thought that, ah, they're disadvantages, they won't attack me. He assumed that they won't attack him. So that kind of worked as a very wrong, you know, like, like that was the reason behind his loss. Uh, Ren and Horro comes in and he's like, oh, what are you going to do? Uh, Ren uses his punch, but he still saves himself. And then we see Horohoro actually bringing water from underground. And he scatters the ice, which obviously is moisture. It kind of gets scattered. And Ren uses that moisture to make lightning and, and to fix him. And there he goes. He, he just dies over there. And they're like, okay, we're going to resurrect them, but not now. Uh, but they resurrect Ryu just over there and uh yeah they also need to keep an eye out on the furyoku as well like this is just the first battle and they have to use the furyoku to resurrect him but uh, yeah like they they need to needed to do this because ryu was like you know really helped them out and do i'm sure ryu will also help them out in the future as well as they go on so yeah like and, and then he does one of his friends so obviously and it resurrected him and they started moving on now we get to the next scene where Manta's dad and Manta's just standing. Manta, they have been captured. Uh, not they, sorry, he has been captured, Manta's dad. And then we see uh, the other guy. What was his name? Um, Laihaite? Li Li is, is that what his name was? Laihaite. Something like that. And, and, uh, the girl's name is Teruko, Amano Teruko. Wait a minute. Lai Haite, was that his name? I cannot find his name. Just a sec. Lai Haite. There you go, Lai Haite. So, okay. We see them. And Lai Haite... <laughs> Lai Haite has changed completely. He's like... Now... <laughs> Like, I can understand Lai Haid's reason for actually doing this because I'm guessing, like, you know, for money. Um, I can also understand Amano's reason, again, money. But <laughs> the re actual reason behind Amano is... Here we go. Where is it? She's like, what about me? No, where is it? No. Okay, um... Now, Lahaita says that every, uh, like, you know, all the evidence will be just swept under a rug because obviously these things cannot be, like, published out, outside. So that means, yeah, no money as well. No hundred million yen. And Amano is like, I just wanted a boyfriend, but people have seen me naked. Uh, and now I'll never get mad. Okay, so her, her reason was to get married? With that... Uh, Okay, now, I, I, as I said, I, I don't know what her story is. I'm, I'm guessing her story is probably something sad related to maybe people judged her or something, you know, like maybe she got betrayed by someone she loved or something. Maybe, maybe because of that, like, you know, she is like this now. She's like, oh, I need money, you know, so that, yeah, yeah, it's probably something like that. That's why that, that was her, like, main goal or something. And... <laughs> 
And I had this like, oh, so like, you know, like I, I can get married with you. <laughs> I, I have like, you know, he says, maybe because I died once, but I have a burning desire to live. <laughs> this scene was hilarious. He just, <laughs> he just gives her a knot and the knot has <laughs> John's face in it. She's like, what the hell? Are you taking me for a fool? Like, you know, am I a joke to you? <laughs> but, like, La Hat is like, nah. Like, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> and yeah, they, I guess, they get engaged or something. And... <laughs> I'm not like, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that was, I, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I really did not expect that outcome, like, what? <laughs> but I guess, you know, like, they're happy, I guess, so, yeah. Now, Manta's dad wants to talk with Manta, and I still don't trust that guy. But I guess, you know, they are father and child, and they do need to talk, so... Yeah, I guess, go ahead. And, okay, so, but, but Anna does say that, oh, he, he does, he's not lying. Now, here's one thing. Didn't Anna say that she, she isn't able to, you know, read minds anymore? So how can she? Oh, maybe, maybe she just got like, a, like you know, like a, after like reading minds for so long, maybe like you know, he can, she, she doesn't even need to read minds now. She can just see their way they're talking and everything, and can realize like it, it might happen like that, you know, like you, you've been like you know, uh, looking at people and like uh, listening to their words in their minds and it probably you know as you keep doing that there's there a time will come when you will not even need to do that you'll just be able to understand if someone's lying or not like so probably it's something like that maybe i don't know because she did say something about like yeah i i cannot i don't i am i i, I don't uh like you know read minds anymore that happened before you know like the, the whole scene with the with the with the like you know the whole thing with the um uh, what was that yeah, also is an also is an arc after that she doesn't you can read minds anymore she said something like that i remember so yeah anyways now uh, okay now <laughs> brocken and uh, mikihisa comes in and they're just fishing and everything and they're like oh we're going to do the barbecue and anahol is like what the hell are you doing like you know like <laughs> you're fishing now and then the others like you know other guys who, who got killed what's the name big guy bill yeah and the other guy they also come in and now here's the thing the thing that these they say here is kind of like you know makes sense here they're saying like our job is done you know like we we were supposed to take how sama to you know like become the shaman king he has become the shaman king that was our job our job is done nothing else to do now everything that they're going to do and even if we try to stop um yo from interfering we wouldn't be able to do it because they're way above our leagues now it's impossible so let's just you know like just be here and just i don't know like have a barbecue or something and yeah i i do like you know i i do agree with that as well because like that's it like their, their main goal was with how like they they were two people it's not that like here's the thing you know how is it like you know the, the whole thing with how here this one thing that I, has, I have been able to understand after watching this show for these few episodes how and yo they're both teams are, they're basically just antagonistic because they had the separate goals when you take that goal away you know they they don't have anything to fight against you know their goal is to become the shaman king and while yo's goal is to stop them yo and his team's goal so now that how has become the shaman king that goal has been taken away and what they are going to do after that falls on yo and how yo and his team is going to do whatever they are going to do how's teammates and yo's teammates who are here now for example mikisa them all of them they they don't have any more any goal now and if they don't have any goal you know like they they just they can just be like you know friends and talk with each other like they don't have any reason to fight against each other that's basically it here you know, they were just helping him out now that both of the goals have been achieved and they have nothing else to do no more way to contribute they're friends like 
they are not antagonistic towards each other. It, it was just that their missions were different. That's why they were fighting against each other. This is the thing. That's why I'm guessing they kind of said that since everything has been done and like, you know, well, well, all done and the whole thing that's happening with Yo and How now, we are way on, like, you know, they are way above our leagues and we cannot be able to contribute in any way. So yeah, let's just have a barbecue. Like, like we don't have any reason to fight anymore. And yeah, that's basically it. They're, they're, they'll just have to wait and like, you know, like, just just wait for to see what's going to happen which team will win they're, they're like the spectators now you know they're like the spectators they they were the main cast up until now but now that they won't be able to contribute anything they have stepped down and they're now the spectators they're just going to see everything and yeah just wait for it and everyone has been resurrected we can see the hanagumi here as well uh, i think the hanagumi has also been resurrected or yeah and uh, yeah Alright, so then we go to the next one, the next uh, plant. And <laughs> that was like a funny section where <laughs> Yo is like, okay, let, let these two, like, you know, Horo Horo and let Ren take control of the situation. And they're like, yeah, let's, let's just break the, <laughs> break the door. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. And uh, yeah, they go in and oh boy, this guy gets them both by surprise. It's just, he's just waiting in front of the gate and just shoots uh <laughs> spider web at them excuse me gets all of them most of them uh, ren tries to attack him and uh, he was able to dodge but now nah, he could not do anything and Horohoro as well gets incapacitated and now he he's saying that they're dead Horohoro is not dead ren is dead i don't know about that he's saying he's dead so maybe he is i'm guessing we'll then we'll have to resurrect him as well so yeah now lyserk has been able to get away so lyserk says that okay i know your tricks i can see like you know like you have like these uh spider webs which are standing upon you're not floating you're just standing on the spider webs and this is like the way you do it and he tries to kind of rile up lyserk for a moment there he attacks horo horo and lyserk is like oh that will not work on me at all uh, you think that I'm going to get agitated at that? Like, but he still was agitated, kind of. And he, like, you know, like the uh, patch efficient was smiling. I don't remember his name. So I'm going to call him that. So, and then Yo kind of stops. Lyser, he's like, y you're getting agitated. Stop. Wait. Be calm. And, you know, like try to like you know overcome this situation because you're the only one here if if, if you lose up uh, we're all screwed nothing we can do uh uh what's his name chocolate chocolate does try to bring machu picchu i think that was the name uh and like uh, the, the city the floating city but if they fall the momentum they fall with according to them is going to just destroy the oversoul like that that thing so it, it wouldn't work like that that's why lyser is the only one who can help them out now here this guy he actually tells the secret of him and the other patch of visions being so strong uh the patch song it's kind of like a i'm guessing a buff they get when they sing the song and they get stronger they gets enhanced their furyoku gets enhanced and he starts singing that song and there's like all these uh, spiders just start appearing and okay so he's like oh you you lose your you're like you know weak that's why you lose this and that's happening lyser comes in and lyser uses his new oversoul um the hellfire i think that's what yeah and he, he starts burning now i don't know if that'll be the end of him or maybe he's still going to struggle and fight we'll we'll get to know that in the next episode uh, but i feel like this is as good as over because you know these are like um spider strings and he's using fire so i feel like that will be very eff effective we'll see and this is not ordinary fire this is a hellfire so damn and uh, either this will be all like you know done by the next episode when the next episode will start start we're going to see him just losing either that or he'll probably struggle and liza might have to fight him a little bit more but he's definitely going to lose that that i'm pretty sure about like and this is barely the start so there's like eight more plants that they have to go through and uh yeah damn 
oh my god like this is the 47th episode like <laughs> i'm wondering how how is it even remotely possible 48 49 50 51 52 five episodes i'm guessing they're going to keep at least one episode for how you know the final battle how versus i don't know what's going to happen like you know how uh, like you know when yo is going to stop how that episode at least i'm guessing they're going to keep so four episodes they have uh and another episode i'm guessing they're going to keep for the epilogue or something like that you know like the, the final after everything has, has has become okay or something and then the final so three they, they, they have to complete this whole thing within three more episodes ten plants two plants have been covered eight plants left so eight plants within three episodes so minimum three plants in one episode okay i guess it is doable because here we in the first part of this episode was we, we were kind of like you know kind of involved with the whole um uh, you know like um silva versus yo thing so if like you know from the next episode onwards uh and uh, like even uh, like after that we were able to cover two plants here so from the next episode they might be we might be able to cover like three plants in each episode and the fights are pretty short we could see so yeah we'll see but yeah that's it so that's it thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to shaman king episode number 47 so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and yeah i'll check them out so that's it thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king until then goodbye and have a nice day